Hey there everyone, welcome or welcome back to Stars Land Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with a timeless reading, timeless meaning no matter when you come across this message and it resonates with you, it is for you. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages messages that might not otherwise also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers thank you all so so much for being here i truly appreciate each and every one of you so this reading is for everybody it is not dependent on the sign it is um, about the energy so if you have found this reading and uh, clicked into it then there are messages that are potentially for you okay all right let's go ahead and jump in and see what messages wow need to come through okay that's too many we're gonna take the first three because that is more <laughs> more than yeah okay so starting out here you have the ancestors coming out here with that ancestors energy there's a lot of wisdom around you Okay, there's a lot of information that is kind of um, floating or blossoming or blooming around you. And even if there may be like unsettling situations or things going on in your life, there is a reason for it. There is wisdom. There is experience coming through with that here. So know that, okay, your ancestors are potentially bringing through now this could also be your your guides or angels as well but potentially bringing this information through to you or or bringing these situations through to you to bring that up into the conscious awareness but it is all happening in your favor it's for you to be able to gain the wisdom or the experience around it it may be for something that is upcoming in your life something that may be coming through but you are supported right with your by your ancestors by your angels by your spirit guides by spirit right you are being supported but you're also being guided so this information even for some of you if you're having some unsettling situations going on or events going on it's happening for a reason it's for you to gain that wisdom it's for you to notice how all around you is information that you can be taking in or experiences that you can be taking in that potentially could assist you or offer guidance for you in the very near future okay so let's go ahead and get a tarot card on that let's see what else may need to come through with that ancestors card there for the collective if you will here spirit what else needs to come through with the ancestors card for all of the energies for everybody here is there something else that needs to come through jumping cards of course wow all right you've got the lovers interesting energy coming through with that ancestors here so this is the uh, potentially there is a union or kind of it's coming through as potentially a partnership but also a choice so you get to decide here Lucky stars, whether it is important for you to kind of stay in the wounds when there's unsettling situations, whether it's important for you to really just kind of um, feel all of the the unsettling parts of it, or whether it's it's important for you to be able to see that there is experience, that there is wisdom that can be gleaned from this or gained from it, right? For some of you, this is coming through as almost that silver lining. Okay, so this is what's happening. I'm not feeling amazing about it, but what can I gain from it? What can I learn from it? Where is the good that will occur potentially as a result of this? That is the question that is coming through here with this lover's card for you. You also have this energy with the lover's card of um, kind of moving into this place of alignment. So some of you have really potentially been out of alignment and 
in feeling unsettled more often than not. So this energy, this ancestors card energy and the lovers energy here is coming through with this reminder that you are incredibly supported. You are able to fulfill your dreams and sometimes you need a little bit more information. It doesn't always feel good, right? Sometimes it doesn't feel good, but that is what is coming through for you during this period or this unsettling time or when, when you're in potentially for some of you when you come across this message or these insights this unsettling situation if there is one around you okay your ancestors are there with you and within that lover's card they're also reminding you your ancestors your guides your angels uh, spirit that there is unconditional love there is love all around you okay now you also have tracker coming through here interesting and that tracker energy is coming in to remind you it all falls into place. You just can't make this up. The tracker energy is coming in here to remind you to focus on your intent and your um, passions, what it is that you are putting out there rather than being scattered in different directions, right? Um, a tracker follows the one thing, right? It follows the one thing instead of, you know, over here and shiny object there and this there and oh my and this right so following without being scattered is kind of that tracker but that takes focus focus towards your intent focus towards your passions focus towards a kind of one thing at a time rather than being in all different directions this is kind of the single-minded energy coming through here and it's going to be important um in this kind of phase or this chapter here at Lucky Stars, this is going to be important for you in your life and everything else kind of gets to go by the wayside. So whatever the situation is really, um, whether this is, is embodying or, or kind of blending together with the ancestors energy here for some of you, it, it's just really, you know, notice the good that's unfolding as well. But for those of you that this message is the message on its own, it's really focus on what your intentions are. What are you intending to do? What goals are you setting? What, um, what kind of like rockets are you shooting out there? What is it that you're creating? Where is those passions? Really focus on one thing. Become the master of that. For some of you, this could be within your job, within your career, within kind of, um, you know, what it is that you're building or, or nurturing, right? Um, focus on that. Be very, very single minded towards that passion, towards that intention, especially if you're just in the beginning phase. And you will begin to see the fruits or the rewards of your labor, okay? But but all the shiny things or going from one thing to the next, for some of you, um, entrepreneurship is coming through here, isn't going to help you get really, really single-minded, get really, really single-minded, focused, focused on just one thing and do it really, really well. And then after you are kind of a master or moving into that excellence stage of that, then potentially move into something else, but build from that one thing. Be focused, single-minded focused on that one thing. Read everything you can, watch all the videos, take classes, go to retreats, whatever it may be on that one thing and get mastery or excellence over it where you could talk about it for hours and hours and hours and know exactly what it is right? Or what you're talking about, or you could answer questions. This can be within anything. This can be within your health, within diet, within work, within career, within investing, within finance, within love, anything at all. Get to a point for some of you, this is coming through because some of you are feeling stalled or stuck. And this is the advice or the information coming through. And it may actually have to do with this as well, where a decision may need to be made for some of you, okay, take it as it resonates. But if you're feeling that way, then this is kind of your blueprint. Get really focused. Get really kind of in this space where the only the one thing matters until this. It's almost as if you're putting yourself into this mode where everything revolves around this, even if it's not, you know, for a huge amount of time. For some we can learn very, very quickly. For others, it takes us a little more time. Do it in your time frame, okay? Now with that, you also got temperance. Look at that. You see, it all fits together so 
perfectly. So this is really temperance is coming through here with that balancing, right? Really, really moving into the space and temperance can be moderation also, but moving into the space where you are kind of alchemizing, where you are getting into that place of mastery of excellence, if you will here, lucky stars, where you are really, really moving into the space where you know what you know, and you can share that where you are, you know, really moving into this place of, of having that energy of just really being in your purpose, having patience with the process, with the learning, with, with the focus, with the intentions, with the passion, all of that, but moving into a kind of focused, single-minded movement towards your purpose, okay? What it is that you're passionate about, what intentions you set, what goals you set, moving into that. We can tend to say, and I'm just going to use this in a, as an example with money, that we want to be rich, we want to be this, we want to be that, but we don't really for starters, get really deep. That's really surface level in how much money we would like, what we would like that money for, what we're willing to do, right? That kind of stuff, like setting and chunking down and figuring all that stuff out. But then also we don't really get like solid on how we can get there. Okay. Creating a plan, creating the next right move or the next right intention or the next right goal that we're moving towards, the milestones, how we're going to gauge that, how we're going to know that and taking action towards that. Also, many times we aren't clear on or haven't set an intention in, in how it is that we will see ourselves once we reach that. Will we see ourselves in a positive light or do we see people who have money in a negative light and how white we see ourselves? All of that goes into that here, lucky sir. So really, really getting the intentions down, getting really focused, getting, you know, write it out. What is it? And, and again, we just use the example of money here, but you can use that framework for anything. Okay. Wow. Big message. And then you also have the circle of life coming through here. Super, super interesting because this reading couldn't fit together. This is, this reading is kind of mind blowing to me. Often the readings are because the energy and the messages, the insights that come through are often so deep that you cannot make it up. Spirit brings this through because these messages are, are important for you. It's beautiful. So all things are possible with the circle of life card. Everything comes in a circle. This is almost like the, the, uh, world card coming through. So if you stand in the center and you are open, right? Stand, you are open to all of the possibilities around you. Does that make sense? Hopefully you're getting what I'm putting out here. Your dreams are coming to fruition. Well, we already talked about that over here. You're being rewarded. It's coming to fruition. But the circle of life card is just confirming that you have a bounty of abundance, right? Become single-minded. Get that together. Notice what is coming through the silver lining or the wisdom that is all around you. Make a choice, make a decision and really move into that energy of balancing things out, but also that possibility, right? Because all things are possible, that possibility that is all around you. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous reading. Lucky stars, everything is flowing to you. You have a relationship or if you're, if you have had a relationship or if you're noticing financial cha uh, challenges, excuse me, things are about to turn full circle. There's going to be a quick change. And isn't that interesting that you have the lovers here? And then we also spoke about financial challenges here with the tracker and, or, you know, that understanding as an example, and this pulls all of that together. It's just pulling it all together all things are possible for you here. All things are possible for you. Okay. Now, wouldn't it be interesting if we got the world here with that message from the tarot? That would be, okay. That's too many. Let's just, we're, no, too many. Let's try that again, Spare Just one. Just one, Spare. It would be super interesting if the world came out. Just one, Spirit. 
What else? What do we need to know more with that circle of life energy? What else needs to come through here? What else, Spirit? What else needs to come through with that circle of life energy? Wow, maybe nothing. Oh, there it is. Page of Wands. I was going to say maybe nothing. Maybe that is just the closure in it. So you've got the Page of Wands coming back to that passion energy with the page energy, or excuse me, the wands energy. This is also, um, page energy tends to be a little bit of younger energy. So moving back into kind of that honor, younger energy, that childlike energy, but page, the page of wands is really about inspiration and the limitless potential. So do you see here, you are limitless, the potential, the possibilities, limitless all around you and that is really this master message coming through for you for those of you that feel as if potentially there's limits on you or you can't do it or it's just not within your reach to do it spirit is coming through with this big message that that's a bunch of bs that of course you can do it that all things are possible for you that you are limitless and really you know this message is coming through with kind of that blueprint print energy again with that insight with that knowledge for you know what you can be doing to move into that space of limitless possibility limitless opportunities limitless inspiration all around you um getting yourself kind of out of maybe that stuck or rut stage and becoming that tracker towards what is is beautiful or what is true or what is um you know uh the 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 best for you i'm not sure why that <laughs> was sticking there but that came with a blank for just a moment but that that you have got the ancestors you got the track you've got the circle of life you have this big energy coming in for you or here for you take full advantage of it spirit is bringing this message these insights to you so that you know so now that you know you can do something with it. All right. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. This was a huge, huge message. I hope you heed it and do something with it. It's one thing to learn, to hear, to read, to to get the insights. It's another thing completely to do something with it. And so that's what Spirit is asking you to do here, Lucky Stars. Do something with it, okay? As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.